what on earth is going to happen next? It's a bit turbulent, isn't, <laughs> isn't it? it? <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it's been brilliant to film. There's a lot of twist and turns. You're not joking. Um, is it difficult to go <laughs> in and out of all Because you those love it, don't you? <laughs> different <laughs> lifestyles. I mean, it must be so hard to get into character when your character changes so often. It is, and especially because there's a massive cast, as you know. Yeah. Like, so you have big periods where you're not on screen and then all of a sudden you've gone through a massive change, so your character's a little bit... Do you have bit... big periods or just big periods? <laughs> <laughs> I have big periods <laughs> and big periods of time. You know, when I was in EastEnders, sometimes I'd go on and I'd be so confused. I'd say to the director, where are we at with this story? And he'd say, I don't know. know. <laughs> it's true. Do you because get you, Yeah, because you film everything out of sequence yeah. as well. Um, tonight, actually, the first scene of the day, I had to go in and attack... Mark, who plays um, Liam's brother, does in the show because he's the suspect. And who's your real life partner as well? Yes, who's my Actually, real life boyfriend I think as well. Ever take practice. it home with you. I mean, because your character started off really bubbly, didn't she? And, and then... she still is, but that's the beauty of it because now we can explore a different side, so it becomes a fully dimensional At character. What, what point do you get the storyline when you know what's coming? Do you kind of read it and just go, yeah, something really meaty? Yeah, I, I used to love opening my scripts because it was always a surprise, but we actually got called in for a meeting about this. So we were all really excited, which is not the best word to use about a child abduction, do you know what I mean? Mm. But because it was so meaty... Well, of course. ..and, you know, that the audience are going to jump onto something like that, anything so to do with you, a child, you can know? Can you give us a little hint of something that's going to happen? Just a little smidgen? Um, it's not by any means over. Yet. Oh. oh. Um, Daz is a suspect, but there's another couple of twists and turns. We do find her. Does she want to come home? Does she not? Did it have anything to do with him? And then what happens to the family once she is? And big question, will you get to buy that silver jacket? <laughs> <laughs> um, the tinfoil. Yeah. I do hope so. <laughs> what about you and Mark working together? I'm sure everybody asks you that, but just as a real-life couple, cos you... It's about three years you've yeah. been together, isn't it? Yeah, now? we've just had an anniversary. Oh, it's just lush. Sounds a bit corny, but it is just He plays lush. Daz. He plays Daz, yeah, which is um, my partner in the show's brother. And did you practice beating him up at home? Yeah. <laughs> did that really? get fruity? Yeah, we did. Well, the night before, I was a bit nervous fruity. about it. What, I mean, in um, a positive way, yeah. in a negative way. Yeah. Sorry. It was yeah. a bit weird, but... Um, I took the stage directions literally just for safety because you go, right, we're up against the wall, I can do that, I know what I'm doing with it. So he said, right, practice on it, and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> so we didn't get to do it once without <laughs> laughing. But then... when, so when you guys go out socially, do members of the public get a bit confused when they see you together? Um, not really. No, I think it's it's out there now. So I think well, people, people believe know. them so strongly. They probably yeah, think that that's yeah. just, You know, you should be in a couple. We yeah. were just talking as well before um, about your well, I was about your your silver jacket. But in real life, I've heard you say before that you like me, like all of us, get really fed up with the fact that we're picked on so much with what what we wear. And I. You said that you end up in the worst dress list when you really look quite nice <laughs> all oh. the time. We've all been there, all don't worry yeah, about it. The thing I... is, it's never a surprise to me because I was not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm like shallow how. I genuinely am shocked <laughs> to see myself in the worst dress. I'm like, oh, I look great. <laughs> I'm the same. But I like what you said, that you said it's a real shame because at an event where we're supposed to be celebrating what people have done and their yes, achievements, we're knocking people for what they're At the end of the wearing. day, it's just one person's opinion yeah. sitting well, in the Well, it is. It's it's with not a very, we're supposed to be all women supporting each other, yeah. aren't we, really? Building the other thing other they more. do is that, because, you know, again, talking about hormones and postmenopause, my body's lost the ability to control temperature. And then they do that circle of shame with your under boob sweat, <laughs> with rings everywhere like that. When you've been trying to walk around the circle of shame. I'm always sweating. I have thing. to put sanitary towels under my armpits. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. And I, people always write on here when I've been on and I've got a grey top on. Grey's the worst colour, by the way. <laughs> and people always be like, oh my God, put your arm down. <laughs> but does it, does it get to you or do you just think, well, I felt great on the night? I did feel great on the night and that's why I wore it because I was comfortable and I like to be a little bit different. Absolutely. And you look great. You look gorgeous. And I, I know, like you say, they pick specific things, like the shoes or the colour of your legs. And they put you up against, tanned. like, I wore something yellowish, and they put you next to somebody who's 20 going, who wore it best? Well, obviously, <laughs> the 20 year old Not necessarily wore it best. <laughs> no, but I just think, you know, it's about talent, isn't it? And it is. Yeah. You should be celebrating. We're supposed to be. Well, you look... 
You look great today, and I'm I'm looking at those jeans, and I feel really, really old because I wore those the first time round. Oh, really, the seven high waist jeans, I love the high waist jeans. We're all, we're all coveting your look today. Yeah, Stacey, you look of course, has to wear that. Laura, yep. thank you so much oh, for coming yeah. on today. Yeah. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.